I like this picture. It makes me happy to draw it. So I'm just kind of getting the general shape of Kitty in. Paw. And just get the angle of those ears, the swing of the ears, I like to call it. Little snout, and there's not much of a mouth showing in this one. We gotta be careful to not put much of a mouth, otherwise it'll look funny. Only draw what you see. I've got it double speed here to get through it a little quicker. And I'll speed it up more towards the end. I always like to get some lines in for eyes. They just really help me place the eyes, the features. I find if I move quickly, I keep that energy and flow throughout the drawing. Just thinking about the bigger shapes. You'll find the link to our cat drawing art workshop on Facebook in the video description below. And you're welcome to join us if you love drawing cats. Build our community of crazy cat artists. I'm always correcting as I go. That's why I like to get my lines in lighter at first. So there's more room for correction. I'm just feeling out where those eyes will be. Don't want to pay quite as much attention to the one going around the corner. I don't want to darken it up as much because otherwise it will stand out too much and it won't look like it's farther away than the other one. Feel out where that nose goes. This kitty's laying cute little chin down on the floor. I love to hear from you. Please do drop me a comment about and let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing. Or just say hi. Tell me about your cat. I love to hear from you. I find I get way more life if I just get those pupils in really quickly. But you know, it depends on your style. Sometimes I'm more into drawing them out more carefully. Um, slowing down. I learn different things with each way and you need to find your own ways. Just take what you learn from me and make it your own. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Help make this channel purr. Help build our community. So hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you don't miss a video. We'd be happy to have you. So I'll outline, uh, I'll outline the bigger eye, the closer eye in its entirety, but the other one I've left the edges really light to help it fade away into the background. So now we're going faster, it's four times the speed here now, just getting the finishing touches. Make sure the important lines are dark enough. And I really choose the lines that I include carefully. Because too much detail distracts the viewer's eye away from the focal, the focal point. Tabby stripes help shape the face because they go around the contour of Kitty's head. I'm liking it. And this is just a practice warm-up sketch. So, I mean, I, I get learning from it. And if I decide to do one of these on good paper, then I'd probably polish it up a little bit more in different places in different ways. You can take this a drawing like this in many different directions. But they, you know, the preliminary sketch, that real gesture sketch, they, they have a real charm of their own. Add some whiskers. 
Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our Facebook group. And we'll see you next time.